In the previous video, I showed you different ways of attaching your pattern to your workpiece. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to the video in the description below, so be sure to check that out. In this video, I'd like to share a few easy ways to remove the pattern from your workpiece, and hopefully you'll be able to find something that will work best for you. The most obvious way of removing your pattern is to simply peel it off, and that works really good when you're working with a substrate whether it be blue painter's tape, contact paper, press and seal, and it usually all comes off in one piece. All you gotta do is simply grab the corner and start peeling it back. But pay special attention to some of those delicate fretwork areas because the peeling motion is gonna add undue stress to those areas and we don't wanna break any of those pieces off. Another method is to simply sand the pattern away. And that really works well when you're working with an image transfer where the pattern is transferred directly to the wood. Now you can also sand away paper patterns, but you gotta be a little bit careful because the friction from the sandpaper will sometimes melt the glue and work that glue into the wood fibers. But it is possible, just take your time and go slow. When sanding any fretwork, it's a good idea to have a sanding pad. The sanding pad offers a little extra support and it keeps your workpiece from sliding around. Now if your project has a lot of delicate fretwork involved, uh, I would bypass the random orbital sander and choose something a little less aggressive like this mouse sander. This mouse sander only vibrates and is a little bit easier to control. Of course, the most control you'll ever have is simply with a sheet of sandpaper and doing it by hand. Another easy way of removing patterns is to use a heat gun. The heat gun will heat up the glue and soften it so it makes for really easy pattern removal. Now you might be able to get away with using a standard hair dryer. Just put it on its highest settings and take your time when removing the pattern. Now the heat gun that I'm using is meant for stripping paint or wallpaper and they're pretty inexpensive. They're running around $20 and I'll put a link to the one that I'm using below in the description. But uh, these have really high intensity heat and they really make quick work of removing the pattern. My favorite method of removing patterns is by using mineral spirits. Now mineral spirits is a solvent, so it's going to soften and dissolve the glue, making pattern removal super easy. It's also a great way to clean up any sticky residue left behind from other glues or even tape that you might use for a substrate. Uh, the stuff I'm using is odorless mineral spirits, so it's really good for indoor use. In order to use, I just put a little bit on a paper towel and then rub it into the pattern. Once the paper turns translucent, I know it's ready to peel off and the pattern practically falls off on its own. Once your mineral spirits evaporate, your board will be as good as new. Now one way I like to apply my mineral spirits is by using one of these pump sprays. Uh, this one came from an old bottle of, I cannot believe it's not butter, spray. And I fill it up with a little bit of mineral spirits and when I'm ready to use it, I just spritz down my pattern. Once the pattern turns translucent, I can peel it off with ease. Just make sure you label this up properly so you're not accidentally using this on your corn on the cob. So those are a few ideas on how to remove patterns from your work piece. Hopefully you can find something that will work best for you. So how do you do it? How do you remove patterns from your work piece? Leave a comment below, we would love to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button. That really helps me out an awful lot. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do these videos from time to time and I'd love to have you on board. If you can lead to find me, I hang out over at Scroll Saw Village. Be sure to swing by and say hi. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I'll put links to all that below. Uh, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Just so there is no confusion, we'll just scratch this bit out to show that it is not butter.